Hello guys, welcome back to another episode review of Hollyoaks for Thursday 1st of August 2024. What an episode. We saw Abe and Teresa McQueen sleep with each other at the end of the episode. Or that's what was most likely going on behind closed doors at the end of the episode when Cleo was looking for Abe when she went back to the house from the, from the loft. Now... Let's rewind a bit. They were initially having a housewarming party where the previous night Abe slept over at his family's house because he had a little argument with Cleo and Cleo goes, you know, what's why did he stay over at your parents? And he said, you know, I, I, I want to be, you know, drama free, drama free, carefree, young, fun, happy couple, whatever he was spouting on about, which... <clears throat> Which we know he's the one that's causing the drama. So he's basically gaslighting Cleo to thinking, you know, making her doubt her, do you know what I mean, her actions or her, um, you know, her side of the relationship. And I just think it's is a typical gaslighter. That's, that's the exact word to describe him. And is, there's something toxic about him as well. I mean, Donnie called him a misogynist in the previous episode. Mizba felt sorry for Cleo and she wanted to go around there, but she had work. I think Cleo's got tough times ahead of her because, you know, with everything she's been through, with all the eating disorder and everything she's been through, you know, when she was in, during her childhood, when she was younger, I just think the last thing she needed was someone like Abe to come over. And just, you know, toxic misogynist is, is, uh, is just, um, I think he's got some sort of control issues as well there. And the fact that he's somehow, um, you know, constructed a way to basically, they played a game of never have I ever, which never goes well, to be honest, as we see on TV, whether it's a soap or it's a movie or it's, I mean, it's a comedy. That game never seems to go well for anyone. So, you know, whilst they were playing that, Perry, you know, Abe's mum, Abe and Theresa McQueen, they were lifting their glasses and drinking quite a bit because obviously they fitted the, you know, many now never have I ever scenarios and they were seen as the cool kind of kids of the block and what's John Paul McQueen and Cleo McQueen were just sat there and they were branded as boring. I know John Paul said that, but I don't think it's boring. I just think that you know, everyone's got a different journey in life and then you should be proud of, you know, proud of whatever, you know, the fact that Cleo's, you know, like a good person, you know, I, you can tell she's not into this whole thing of open relationship, which Abe suggested and somehow he engineered that and constructed that, which was what I was saying earlier, to get Cleo to kind of agree, like, as in prayer pressure, to, for them to be in a, you know, like a, some sort of open relationship and they can get to, they're allowed to sleep with each other. Well, sorry, would sleep with um, others. And and Abe said, let's keep it a secret. We don't have to tell each other. And that way, we, it's, um, you know, we're both protected and we won't get mad at each other. I mean, it's all bizarre. You know, I'm not knocking an open relationship. What I'm trying to say is, you're moved into, you moved in together you're having a housewarming party surely this type of stuff should be discussed early on the relationship you know maybe the second third or fourth date not when you're moving in together so that's that's a big kind of red flag you know i'm sure most of you guys would agree please feel free to add anything there that you think i've made you know i've may have missed out um I just feel like, you know, Teresa, sorry, Cleo was under a lot of peer pressure and she just agreed, you know, to kind of not look like some like a prude, which she isn't. I mean, I think she's fine. She's lovely. She's, you know, she's a nice person. John Paul as well. And I just I didn't should not really play this game, to be honest. And um, when she came back, unfortunately, she heard... Teresa and Abe giggling behind in the bedroom behind the door and you know obviously they're sleeping with each other and Cleo threw up and I just have a feeling she's going to relapse and you know I really hope she doesn't you know have another 
you know, episode of an eating disorder. And the thing is, Theresa McQueen, you know, it's her cousin. And the thing, and she, she, she has got a past where, you know, uh, sorry, a track record, Theresa, where she's sleeping with her cousin's sister's other uh, off. She did the same with Carmel McQueen's, um, you know, fiancé or husband, Calvin, I believe. And that was 10, 15 years ago. I don't know if you guys, you know, used to watch Hollyoaks that long ago. But I've been watching it for, you know, about 20 years. And Theresa McQueen, unfortunately, she does need to question herself and, you know, ask her what kind of cousin she is to her sisters. I really like her character. Um, you know, she's funny. She's got, you know, co- you know like a, kind of like a gimmicky, unique side. But she's just treating her cousins like not the most loyal cousin, what I'd like to add. Anyway, moving on. Um, Bo... Is in prison. He stopped all visiting requests. I did find it funny when he called the guard over. Unfortunately, it means bad news for Tony and Diane. I just wish Kitty, you know, came forward and kind of gave her side of story as well. That might have some sort of leniency towards Bo when all the jigsaw puzzle puzzle is there, like put together. Um, you know, Zoe's a tremendous, you know, detective, and the fact that she's, you know, um, still trying. To get the bottom of it because she knows there's something there she just knows some kitty's hiding something and also her boss you know say that abe fielding is the one that filed a police report and zoe did say you know let's not talk about here in the loft again i do, i think zoe should be the boss do you know what i mean because she's she's doing really good work um she is persistent i can see why people would not like her if you were if they were a criminal but you know, if you're a good law-abiding abiding citizen, you'd want someone like Zoe as a copper. Do you should be your police, police officer, you know, detective? Um, what else happened in this episode? Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, Prince, you know, picked up a book. Unfortunately, Dilly looks, you know, doesn't know the full story. So, obviously, Prince picked up a book, How to Be a Dad. So, that I don't know how that will affect their relationship um and that's about it that's a, it's a really good episode um i'm gonna put an end to it and i'll see you in the next episode review peace